What's poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking back, nope, taking a look at the first and only LEGO Avatar set that I am going to get. Avatar. Not the last airbender, the blue people one. And this set is my favourite out of the bunch. It comes with a mech, the dog thing, I forget the name, I haven't seen Avatar in ages, and a little bit of scenery from Pandora, I think their planet's called. I'm not 100% on that. I don't really remember much about Avatar, if I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen it in ages. But number two is out, and number one is back in cinemas. So here we are taking a look at this set. First of all, we're going to take a look at the shrubbery round back. Uh, it is very, very colourful. I like how colourful it is. Like, we have the pink with the... The colours clash, but they clash well. Like, the pink and the yellow, the orange and the green, the red and the pink. Pink and the... Nope, the green... The blue and the green, the green and the red... Orange is there, some white bits that glow in the dark, a uh, flower up there, some tree build, some vines or roots, a little bit of open area over here. Looks like you can connect it onto more of the Avatar sets to build the whole world of Pandora. Some big ball tree that's going on there, some yellow. Honestly, it looks really cool. However, it is very flimsy at this side and very likely to break off when picking it up. It's not doing it now, but when I moved it from where I positioned it to here to make a video on it, it broke off, like, completely. It is very flimsy, uh, but then it's very thin as well. It's only being held together by, like, two bricks, so it's understandable. But I like this scenery. This scenery is very cool. The colors are nice. looks cool. And then twisting around back, it looks very plain. There is... Not much detail around back, but it's a forward-facing set, so you have it, like, pushed back up against the wall over here or something like that. Um, maybe sort of have it in the corner like this, put next to something there. Um, but it's still a cool set, I do like it, and it is one of the better builds for the Avatar theme. Uh, moving on to the mech for the army. We have the legs with ball joints at the feet here, so you can position it differently, and ball joints at the hip there. And I've just completely busted his leg up there, unintentionally. His feet are very, very weird, but we also have a ball joint at the shoulder, at the elbow, and at the hand, and then you can even move the fingers. He is holding a chainsaw and a little blade here. The little blade looks like it ain't going to do much, but you can lift it up. And there is enough room for one minifigure on the inside, a couple of buttons there, some panels and stuff. We have some stickers, both sides of the arm, on the sides of the body bit here as well. And you can position it in loads of different ways. You can have it running. Just give me a minute, I had it running before. You can have it running through the forest, chopping trees, even swinging his arm back like that. To chop down some stuff. It's a very poseable mech. It's also a very small mech, but mechs are like my favorite things in LEGO. I just think they're really cool. It, this kind of reminds me of something from Titanfall, if I'm being honest. I like Titanfall, and it looks like something from Titanfall. So I might get another one of these sets, but like add in my own little bits to make it like Titanfall based. But I'm not too sure yet. So that's it for the mech. There isn't much else to talk about it. It is one of the more basic mechs. But it still looks pretty cool, and it is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this Avatar set. Moving on to the last build of the set, which is this weird dog thing with six legs. It's got a very small tail, and it does have these tentacles, which do connect onto the back of the head of the um, Avatars, I'm going to call them. I don't know what their species is called, I do forget, I am sorry. But... You do connect these onto the back of the hair, so then their like mind is in the beast and they control it and ride it and stuff like that. Uh, you can open the mouth of the beast to reveal some teeth. We have some nice printing there, the orange eye and the little beak at the front. Legs, there is big shoulder bits, and then some two legs on the front and then one leg on the back. And then a very small tail. You just stick the minifigure on there and it lays down across the... Beast, I'm going to call it. I don't really know what it's called. It's just a beast. Honestly, it looks very cool. And you can also put it in, like, screaming position where it feels threatened or, like, make it bigger so it's on the attack and trying to make itself look scary. It is one of the very few beasts we do get in minifigure form. 
Uh, we do get a bird and some flyers, but there isn't many. I know there's more. And when Avatar 2 comes out, we might get some more Avatar sets. And it's the way of the water. Uh, and if it's Avatar, water, fire, and air, that would be quite interesting. Because we've already taken a look at Earth, and that could have been the first one. But other than that, I think it's time to take a look at the minifigures. Uh, I don't know where I put my minifigure stand, so just bear with me for like two seconds. I have found it. Here we go. The first minifigure we're going to look at is the army man who operates the mech. I think he's the general. And he does have some very cool sort of camo there. The little pixelated blue and light blue. He does have like a scratch on the side of his face, which does mess up his sideburn. But he looks pretty angry. He has his muscles showing. He has his arms out. No side leg printing or arm printing, but some nice back torso printing. No back head printing, but that's because he uses Zen's head from... Zim's, Zim's hair from Ninjago, which reveals the back of the head, so they can't put face printing on there. He does look very angry, and I do like this Zen hair in the grey instead of the gunmetal grey. Um, it's just not as shiny, and it does look cool. I do like this hair in this colour. But this is one of the very few human like minifigures that we have for Avatar. Um, I think there's four in total, and the rest are the Avatars. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry, but taking a look at the avatar, which is the main sort of focus of the set, you do get a spare tail for the avatar, which is pretty cool. We have some nice new hair. We have a nice new head mold, and we're back to using the woody arms and legs from Toy Story all the way back when Toy Story first came out. We have some nice stripes on the leg, a little loincloth. I think they're called. I could be wrong. Um, nice chest. Sort of printing there with the orange, and there's a little bit of shine there. And I like the face print as well. I like the face markings. And that little pin connection there is what attaches to the lion creature we looked at before. They do come with, like, weaponry, and this is a bow that they use. And I think this is a really cool character. And it looks pretty cool. I can see Nightcrawler from X-Men using this head and tail. So, I don't know, it's just something that I noticed. It does look like Nightcrawler if you got different hair. But, that's it for the set. I think LEGO Avatar is quite expensive, so I might not get any more. But, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.